in this video we're just going to talk about molality and concentration so these are two terms that are used interchangeably and people basically don't get to understand what they are so I'm going to explain in just a few minutes okay so what is concentration so a concentration of a solution is a measure of the amount of a solute that has been dissolved in the given amount of the solvent of the solution so if you be if you have a volume of a certain container and in this container you have got the liquid let's say water of maybe two liters now you're comparing how much of a solute or how much of a solid substance that has been dissolved is what we call concentration the measure of um, the amount of a solute that has been dissolved in a given amount of a solvent or a solution that is what concentration is now understand that concentration can be measured in different units so like I've told you we can basically get to measure the amount of solute. So the measure of the amount of solute can be, we can measure our solute in terms of weighing it. We can have um, its mass, we can have its weight, we can also determine its number of moles. Okay. So if we also look at the given amount of a solvent or a solution, we can also measure our solution to be in terms of, uh, can be volume. We can also measure, we can also weigh it in terms of mass. So how can we express our concentration? So we can also have mass over mass. That is, you measure the mass of a solute divided by the mass of the solvent. You can also measure the weight divided by the weight. Okay. You can also have moles divided by the mass of um, your solvent or solution. Now, the most common unit of measure is where you have moles okay where you have moles and then divided by what? divided by the volume this is a common form of concentration that we get basically get to work with under the study of uh, chemistry okay now a case where we specifically have our volume in liters gives us what we call molality concentration okay so notice that concentration units are not limited to only more per liter so when you have number of moles of your solute divided by the volume in liters this becomes a special kind of concentration we are calling what molar concentration denoted by capital letter m that's what it means so concentration is something general molarity specifies the units moles per liter and that is basically what the difference is now let's look at an example to understand more what molarity is now think of it this in this case. What is the molarity of a solution made when 32.7 grams of sodium hydroxide are dissolved in the given volume? Now I emphasize again, molar concentration capital letter M denotes moles per liter. So we need to find the number of moles of our solute in this case being sodium hydroxide. Our solution has been given to be 445 milliliters. We need to take that to liters as well. So first of all, the first thing that we want to do is find the number of moles of our solute, sodium hydroxide. We've been given the mass. How do we get to find the number of moles? We'd have to find the molar mass. So what is the molar mass of a relative molecular mass of sodium hydroxide? So sodium, if you check your periodic table, has got 23 plus oxygen has got 16. Approximately oxygen has hydrogen has approximately 1.00. So if you get to add 23 plus 16 plus 1, approximately you have... 40 grams per mole as our relative molecular mass of sodium hydroxide how do we get to find the number of moles so our number of moles per every mole of sodium hydroxide we have a mass of 40 grams according to our molar mass now we are multiplying by or we are dividing it into the volume so we are 445 milliliters so milliliters can be divided by a thousand to take your answer to what to liters or multiply by 10 to the negative 3 in liters so we have our units now in what so <laughs> sorry basically the first part of
Okay, so now that we found our relative molecular mass of our sodium hydroxide, we can basically find the number of moles. So, per every mole of sodium hydroxide, that is 40 grams according to our molar mass. Now, we'd have to multiply by the mass, which is 52.7 grams. Now, at this point, you observe that the masses are going to go away, so that ultimately remain with a number of moles of sodium hydroxide. So, 52.7 divided by 40. 0 0.8175 0 .8 moles. So we found the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. Now remember molar concentration, you've said the units are supposed to be more per liter, right? So our molarity, which is denoted as capital letter M, is going to be our number of moles we've calculated divided by what? the volume in liters. So the volume that we have is 445 milliliters. So 445 milliliters. So we have to divide that by a thousand or multiply by 10 to the power negative 3 first to convert our volume to liters. Okay, so we now have our volume in liters. So 445. So we're dividing 0 0.8175 divided by 445, which is also divided by a thousand or multiply by 10 to the power negative 3. So the molar concentration I'm getting is 1.837 molar concentration. Now, you can also pay particular attention to the units. You can also, also say more per liter, that is also fine, or just capital letter M. It also denotes eh, molar concentration. Now, looking at the significant figures given in the question, the least number of significant figures we have is 3, so we can present our answers to be 1.84 molar concentration. And that is what molarities are about. Very simple.